All right, well, I didn't get quite as much out of that log as I would have liked to, but you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. And we got a rainbow over here, sorry, getting distracted. Uh, we got a little bit of rain coming down. I don't know if you can actually see that over there or not. It's somewhere in there. Anyway, so I've got about 20 extra 2x6s milled out which I don't know if that's enough or not because I do know that some of them that are in there they either have a lot of wain on them aka bark that I don't want to be there uh, they maybe have a big knot or something that just I don't know if it's really structurally good you know I know there's some stuff in there so that's why I wanted to mill some extras at this point I don't think I really want to mill any more because there's just I don't really need extra of these two by sixes so what I want to do now is I have another log over here ready to go and what I'm gonna do is I just want to kinda square this thing off get those first four cuts done so that we got a flat side on each one that makes it really easy to start milling from there. Those first cuts to get it squared off are the hardest, at least I think so. And once you have that, you've got those 90s ready to go. If, you know, I'm starting work on the bridge and we're getting along through there and I go, man, I really need another five two by sixes. I've got the log ready to go. I can just peel off a few more boards, cut those down to width and we'd be back in business. So like I said, for now, I'm just going to try getting this thing squared off and then we'll just leave it here and that way it's ready to go if we need a few more boards. last day for this week. I've been working on a few other things today so we're just gonna work on a couple short things out here this afternoon and then we'll call it a day, a week, a video. So as you can probably see here we've got another stain sample that I'm gonna try. I think this one's gonna have a be a little bit browner than these two were. Uh, that was one thing I didn't like about these that while I don't mind having a bit of a sort of a reddish or orangish hue to it. I want some enough brown in there as well. So I think that might be this one. We'll uh, we'll give it a try here and see what it looks like. All right, while we wait for that stuff to dry, we are gonna hop on the old tractor here and we are gonna head up into the back of the farm because I've got a sprayer that hooks on that tractor right there and I really don't use it very often. I don't like using it unless I absolutely have to, but there is some stuff that's kind of growing up around the old collapsed barn over there, and I just want to knock it back with that. And I can't really get in there to spray or use the brush cutter or anything because there's boards and beams and metal roofing and all sorts of stuff all over the place there. So I kind of want to get some of that stuff knocked back a little bit. So. We're gonna bring the sprayer down here. It's all the way in the back. I'm not sure why it got left there, but it's a beautiful day out today. So it seems like a good time to ride this thing back up there.
right, so while we're up here, and you can see the MVP right away, right behind us there, we are gonna grab some of these, well, logs, if you can call it that, that got cleared off from there, and then I dragged them from where they'd stacked them up down here off from their area. And unfortunately, a lot of the stuff that they threw off to the side, I can't use, it's too small. I'm not sure why they set it aside, but Either way, it's just been laying here for the last three years now. And like I said, it's not going to be any good for milling. It's just too small diameter. It's not worth messing around. So we're going to grab some of this stuff, cut it a little bit shorter length. We're going to throw it on the running gear here and take it down with us. And I figure we can throw it in the wood stove this winter. Alrighty folks, we are back down at the mill house. Got the tractor parked underneath here. I just ran some water through the tank, make sure that everything's all good to go and that, that nothing had gotten gummed up or anything in there and it seems to be working just fine. It probably hasn't been used in well over a year, maybe even closer to two years. We're gonna take a quick look here at our stain samples. We're losing some light here, so it's not gonna be exactly the best light to look at this in, but I know that some of you guys will get after me if uh, I don't show it to you since I already, you know, put some on the board. So as you can see, this one definitely came out a lot browner than these two. This one was really dark red. This one still was sort of a rusty, orangish, reddish color. And this had a, has a good brown color, which is kind of more what I was going for. I may take another look at the sample color booklet and see if maybe there's something a little bit lighter than this. I don't know. We'll see. I figure it's always best to go through a few more sample colors and find the one that I really like the best than, you know, go with one that, eh, okay, you know, that's sort of so-so and then maybe decide that I don't like it so well afterwards. And because we're losing a little light here, it's kind of hard to see, but this is the, the green paint that we've got. And this will be going on like the windows and stuff like that. And... I think it looks pretty good with this brown here, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we might pick up another stain sample next week, something a little bit different. And over here, beside our stacks of 2x6s for the bridge decking, we got our running gear with our logs on top of there, if you can really call them logs. That seems like it should be something a little bit bigger than those things, but eh. I'll probably pull those off next week and I don't know set them someplace and then eventually those will get cut into length for firewood because like I said they're just they're just too small for milling so now that we have these other logs here we are getting pretty close to being ready to start working on the bridge now the first step for that is going to be removing the arch pieces and depending on how soon we get in a couple of other things that we're going to need for the bridge i don't know we might we might work on pulling off those arch pieces next week because those have to come off first before we can start pulling up the decking and replacing that part of it another thing i just got to thinking about is that we still haven't milled out our replacement arch piece yet that's not a huge deal. We can hold off a bit on that because, of course, we aren't going to need that until after we replace the bridge deck. So we're still a little ways on that, but I guess if we wanted to, maybe we could work on that next week. And I really don't know what else. I'm, Of course, I'm sure I'll come up with uh, plenty of stuff for me to be working on next week. So as always, I appreciate you guys coming along with me on my little adventures here around the farm, and I will see you next time.